This is the fourth screencast in the video series. We've had Dropbox, Google Drive and YouTube. We're now going to be embedding an uploaded video, which is not a great option because you are using up server space and making your backup files larger. But there are ways around minimizing that effect. So first I'll turn the editing of the book on. Then I'll edit the page. Now to add a video you use this little icon, Moodle Media then click find or upload and this will remember where you were last so if you're not at upload a file you can click on it now you could use private files as well but for this screencast I'm going to use upload a file and then show you how to reuse the video in another course or how to share it with another teacher so click browse find the video and upload this file then click insert you won't see the video until you save changes and because this is an FLV file I'll have full screen mode so I don't have to worry too much about resizing to resize mp4s have a look at the embedding Dropbox now let's say I want to use this in another course or I want to share this with another teacher who shares the same courses as me well, the first thing to note is where you are you're in the Chanel category CC computers and there's your course name now Moodle has organized the saving of this file very very well as you'll see. I'm going to go to another of my courses. Let's say I'll go to Science Mechanics. And I've got a book here and this is where I'm going to add that video. So I'm going to edit this page. Again I use the same icon, so Moodle Media icon. Again I find or upload. Now I'm not going to upload again if I placed it into my private files I could grab it from there but I didn't I placed it straight here so this is how you find it click on server files then remember where you placed it it was in CC computers level 2 and it was in this book so it was in one of the chapters and it was in the chapter on embedding an uploaded file and there Moodle has saved it for me so all I do is I click it and here you click create an alias shortcut to the file so you're not making a copy you're creating an alias or shortcut any changes that occur in that original copy will be reflected in any of the aliases and then click insert and you won't see the difference save changes so any teachers who share the same course with you would be able to do that in exactly the same way